Oh man, I love VR. Oh, I gotta move forward using just my thumbstick. <laughs> Look, I love VR. It's just not made for people who, you know, Really, it's just the walking I can't do. It's vomit inducing. Every time I go to take five steps forward, I just start blowing chunks. Now I've seen the crazy VR running machines that everyone seems to talk about. They seem very big, bulky, and expensive. So I asked myself, is there a way that I can make the same thing, but even more impractical, almost non-functional, but super cheap? And I decided, okay, sure. Before we begin, here's a quick word from our sponsor. Just kidding, we couldn't get this channel sponsored even if we tried. The core concept is that we're gonna take these boots and turn them into a controller so that when we stomp on the ground in place, that it activates the walking function in the game. So try to understand, we only want stomps to count as going forward. We don't want normal walking because there's plenty of times in VR games where we wanna walk around, turn, without actually going forward. So this will be going forward and this won't activate anything. So to accomplish our goals, we're gonna be using this ADXL345. It's a very small three axis accelerometer, accelerometer. 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 Essentially what we're gonna be doing is just taping it to our foot and then having it read when it accelerates past a certain point going in the downward direction. Okay, so here's a potential wiring for right now. We've got the Arduino Nano attached to an NRF uh, with an LED light and then the actual sensor. So this would be walking and then this would be stomping. Walking, stomping. So I have it all hooked up now wirelessly to this Arduino Leonardo using the NRF uh, 24L01. And let's test it out. All right, if this is all working, I should be able to just go and it's a W stomp when the stomp is going. And then no stomp now. Cool. Okay, now we're just 3D printing the case to put it all in. 2,000 years later. Yes, yes. I do love 3D printing, don't get me wrong, but it's just not efficient enough for me. Jesus. All right, so we enclose the NRF 24L01s inside of the 3D prints. We have the Arduino Nanos on the outside with the breadboards attached to the accelerometers and it's all being powered by the battery packs. Now let's look at the boots. Wow, look at these boots. Those are some nice boots. Don't those boots make you wanna to subscribe to a channel that was able to get these boots in such high definition, such focus, but then couldn't put himself in focus in the first two minutes of the video for some reason? Just, just subscribe so you can get more of these boots. I don't need to be in focus. The only thing that needs to be in focus are these boots. I mean, wow. Right now I'm trying to debug the boots using Minecraft instead of a VR headset, just so they're easy to get to and I don't have all the cords and wires and have to constantly go in and out of VR. Um, I added some rubber bands to the boots as well as I took the lights out of one of the uh, encasings on the right boot. But here we go. Here we are on uh, Halo 3 Guardians. 
Now, it's not gonna be the best because I literally just have it where it's pressing the forward button for each step, and I can change that with the coding depending on the game. This is just more for testing purposes and see how it works with each game. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's working. <laughs> Cool. We're in the game series that I grew up with, Unreal Tournament, and the intro for the newest game, they actually have a little WASD key that shows you when it's being pressed. So I thought it would be fun if you guys could see this while it happens. So here's just some normal steps, and then here's like a big step. Here's a big step. Cool. The first application or game that we're gonna try this in is actually something called EMU VR or MU VR. What it does is it simulates what it was like to be in the early 90s or late 80s. You can design your own room. They've got a bunch of different options and stuff like that. But most importantly, you can actually decide like what consoles you want. We're just gonna be using an N64 because that's the classic for me, but you know, you. There's a lot of different options to choose from. Um, they also have it where you can turn on like scary stuff and all that jazz as well. Uh, day and night, all that stuff. It's, it's, it's actually a really cool concept and idea. Okay, so for our first task in this game, we're gonna just try to turn off and on the light switch by walking over to it. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm in the, the thing. Forgive me. Oh, is this one yeah, okay. Cool. All right. So there's the, the first task. I don't know where the camera is, but it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, I'm actually a little surprised. All right, let's go get this game over here. Plug it in, and uh, how do I get the, uh... okay, we got the game, let's go turn off the light real quick, let's see how I... we're gonna just walk through this, okay. Okay, so it seems to be working pretty all right for this. I don't feel seasick or anything like that yet. I'm actually a little surprised. I was fully expect, fully expecting to be barfing up my chunks, or barfing up chunks right now, but everything seems to be working okay. I, I, I it would be great to play this, but on to the next game. This one seems to be a success. Now we're in one of the most popular games, um, VR Chat, and uh, I've never actually played VR Chat. Uh, I've wanted to, but I have a lot of social anxiety, so I, I I don't think I really can. The idea of going around where other people are it, it kind of freaks me out. Now, if you guys want to play with me and you want to be like my friend, sure. I'm gonna put my username here. I I don't have any online friends or anything like that. So if you're nice, please add me. Here's my username, I don't know what it is, but please do. Um, Cause I'd love to do this video again, but with like actual friends and doing things. But right now I'm, I'm a little too nervous, I'm sorry. I just have a little bit of anxiety and I, I can't really help that. Um, but let's take our first steps into the game. Well, it, it seems it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, it needs a little bit of fixing up to do uh, on the left boot. It seems sometimes the left boot goes off twice instead of just once, and you can kind of see that with the walking. But uh, other than that, though, it seems pretty good. 
Big Al's Avatar Corridor. Okay, we'll go there. I kind of feel like a dinosaur. Like when I walk, <laughs> this is how do you get into this? Am I in it? Wait, how do you do this? Is this what you do? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna walk away because I know people hang out. Okay, we'll go down this way. I feel like a dinosaur. Trying to see how how hard do I actually have to hit the the floor. It's a good thing I don't live in an apartment anymore. Because I think people would be very mad at me. Hmm. Okay, let's go back this way. Yes, I do not have downstairs neighbors, I promise. I live I live in a house. Hmm. I kind of like Mas Master Roshi. Oh, 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 okay. I see something happens. Oh, that is cool. Okay. Here we go. What's up here? It's kind of. I'm not gonna lie, I, I actually do prefer this over normal walking and anything else. I know it's a little absurd looking, but I, I actually really do like this better. I'm scared of hitting the... Oh, here we go. Um, I'll be fine. Heck yeah! Hang the hill is pretty cool too. Okay. The I was worried about the turning with your head, but it's actually kind of smooth. Like you like. Give it a minute and then all of a sudden you're really able to uh, do it. Okay, the first test. Can I get over this bridge? The first test. Don't turn my head. Don't turn your head. Don't turn your head. Whew. Hey folks, it's Post Raccoon Facts. I'm actually editing the video right now. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> 
I wanted to take a little bit of time to discuss a couple things about the video with you that I felt weren't very well illustrated in the video that I'm presenting. So number one, when I had the goggles on and using the boots, it really did seem like it was working really well. I wasn't getting seasick. Uh, I felt like my footsteps were registering and it just felt very good. Uh, now that I'm looking at the footage, I actually noticed that the left foot was not registering as much as the right foot. And that's just a threshold problem. I just need to lower the actual amount of acceleration for it to uh, send the signal. So it's not a big issue, but it is something that I noticed. One thing that happened that I didn't really discuss in the video is that the boots themselves did not work in every game. The game had to allow for either keyboard inputs or Xbox One controller or Xbox 360 uh, controller inputs. If it didn't allow those types of inputs in the game, then the boots themselves wouldn't work. One thing that I would really like to do is take one of these guys apart and mod it, but I don't have money <laughs> to be just throwing away if I break it. So I, I don't know if that's something I'm gonna be doing for a while. Number three, um, I've been getting a lot of love lately for my controllers and I really do appreciate all of you. It's been amazing, but I don't wanna be stuck just making wacky controllers. I wanna make wacky things. Uh, so I still will work on controllers. I'm still gonna make controller videos from time to time, but also expect to see different types of content, like different types of inventions and stuff like that. I, I, I just don't wanna be stuck in a rut where I'm, I'm constantly having to make different versions of the same thing over and over and over again, just for views. The channel is for me and that's just something that I don't wanna do. I wanna make all sorts of different types of things for you guys. So I hope you'll enjoy all sorts of different type of content. Number four, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'll catch you guys on the flippity flip. Goodbye. <laughs>